That was a waterproof uh, slash tiler. I did that for 11 years and uh, had some knee issues in regards to like kneeling down all the time. Um, and the doctor just said to me, look, you know, long term, it's, it's not the career you want to be staying in. I got into forklift side things through my wife, uh, whose family, they own an independent forklift company for nearly 40 years now. Started a bit of a side business out of their wash bay, believe it or not. It's come a long way in a short period of time. I didn't know anything about batteries or forklifts. There was some opportunity there with some specialised charging. We were able to fix batteries that you know, other people had classified as being you know, dead basically and in need of replacement. The battery is the heart of the forklift. The majority of the forklifts that are imported into the country don't come with batteries, so it's not part of the forklift. The forklift companies actually use battery companies to supply that. It's almost its own industry aside from forklifts. For battery is effectively in a coma, then you can bring it out of that coma by using specialised charging algorithms. It was an industry first per se, there wasn't a lot of people in Australia doing it, and it was a big part of how we got to where we are today because it got us in the door with some of the big clients. I knew that no one else was doing it and we had a very good opportunity and we've obviously grown the business off the back of that service. Probably one thing with me that, uh, you know, if you give me a challenge, I'm, I'm going to have a, a good crack at it. And um, you know, we were basically told from the get-go that you know, what we were doing wasn't possible. Our biggest battle was obviously the size when we started. I mean, you know, we were laughed at. I'm not exaggerating that. You know, what are these guys trying to do? And, you know, there was, you know, there was two of us working out of a wash bay. I mean, it was crazy. I nearly had to bankrupt myself in 2013. And um, you know, on the back of that, I learned a lot. I learnt to obviously appreciate you know, a lot of things that I didn't appreciate prior to that. We basically closed everything down in you know, 2014 and, and had to start again from scratch. You know, the last four to five years has been about you know, recovering from that side of things. So do I regret it? Now I don't. Uh, for many years I did. Uh, because we had a lot of repayments and debts to repay you know, to family, friends as well, um, in lieu of what had occurred. But I learnt a lot during that time, not just about business, but about myself as well, personally. So I'm probably more hands-on now than I need to be with the business, but in saying that, again, it comes back from you know, what I went through. I was effectively given a second chance despite the fact that I really you know, wasn't the cause of an issue to start with. It was other people that I was involved with. You know, it was a yeah, very challenging time. About 2014, I started importing the batteries as well as the chargers, and from there, the growth has been phenomenal. It's happened a lot faster and quicker than I expected, but at the same time, there's been a lot of reinvestment back into the business to get it to a point where we can be a viable option of supply to the bigger players in the forklift battery markets. The trust and quality you know, are the two big things that I push. I don't promise something that I can't deliver upon. Uh, I think that's very important. It's probably something that I learnt very early on. Some people do anything to get a sale, but at the end of the day, you've got to be able to provide what you say you can provide. Every business has got the capability to do something for someone else. Like this year, I'm doing the CEO sleep out. That's the first time for me. You go and um, stay in the street uh, and sleep homeless for a night. And uh, you know, we've got a, a target donation. To me now, it's about giving back a little bit. You know, we've, yeah, we've had some success, um, you know, but at the same time, it, it's, it's not through lack of hard work. We've got the ability to now be able to try and, you know, I guess help, help different people and organisations and, and individuals as well. You know, there's some stuff I've done personally I don't really need to mention as now that, you know, if I didn't have the business, would I be able to have done that? The answer is no. You know, I'm learning every day, but, you know, giving back is important too because not everyone gets the opportunity to be able to have a business and run a business. You know, that's probably been the biggest eye-opener for me. We give everyone an opportunity to basically show us what they can do. Uh, it doesn't matter what role they're in. Uh, look, I've got you know, service techs here who are now state managers. You know, I've got uh, sales managers who were service techs. So it's try and find the strengths and weaknesses associated with each person and work with the strengths. You know, I've seen a number of different staff have, have their you know, first kids over the, you know, and children over the last you know, five or six years and uh, you know, start families and buy houses and they're doing it off the back of what we're doing here with the business as well. So you, know, you go to Christine's and things like that, it's special. I'm proud of what we've achieved, but at the same time, I'm proud of what my staff are achieving too.
We've given them the ability to be able to showcase what they can do where I know that previously you know, that they haven't had that opportunity at other, you know, other companies and that for me is important. It's exciting. I'm excited for what the future brings, but I'm also very thankful for what we've achieved over the last five or six years.